Thanks so much for watching Fox Cruise Info. This video will help you out with what documents and things you need prior to your online check-in and how to navigate through the process quickly and easily. Online check-in starts 30 days prior to sailing, as long as your cruise is completely paid in full. Now for the best port arrival times, you want to start this entire process the second that the clock strikes midnight and the 30th day begins. There are definitely some things that you want to have ready before this whole process begins. First, you want to have proof of citizenship. You want to have either your driver's license, your passport, or whatever you're using. Make sure that you have it digitally so you'll be able to upload it. Second, you want to have your flight information. Are you going to want your flight numbers and times and be able to put that information in when needed? Third and very important is you're going to need photos that are ready to upload. Uh, to the website of all the passengers in your party. The photo has to be very clear, not blurry, from about the shoulders up, nothing in the background, uh, no hats on or things like that. And it cannot be the same photo that you've used in your passport or other documents. And fourth, you will need to put in an emergency contact name and phone number, but it cannot be anyone who is going on the cruise with you. All right, now we're gonna get started. Go to the Disney Cruise website and you are gonna go onto the Already Booked tab and scroll down to Online Check-In. You will then click that tab. That will take you to where you sign in to your Disney account. Put in all your information and sign in. Once you are logged into your account, you then wanna scroll down to where you see Online Check-In. Then this screen will come up with Goofy, who then says, please begin check-in. Then we have step one of our process. We will put in details for each of our passengers, their name, address, date of birth, phone number, as well as email addresses and all those travel documents that you got ready prior, uh, you'll have ready to go with either the passport, the driver's license, birth certificate, and those photos that you took of each person, this is when you will upload those as well, and the emergency contact information. You will then have completed step one and you will see that um, one little section is now colored in. We are now at step two, your onboard account, where you will either put in your credit card information or that you will be using cash and who is authorized uh, to charge things to your account. You have now completed step two and we see that Minnie is now all colored in. Now step three will only come up if you are traveling with children under the age of 10 then uh, this section will come up. It is where you will give them authorization uh, to be dropped off and picked up at the Oceaneers Club, and you will set a security word that you will use in doing that. Then if you are traveling with children, then your step three is complete. Step four will be your travel plans. They want to know how you plan on arriving at the terminal. Uh, if you are taking a flight, then you will need to enter that flight information there. And they also want to know uh, what happens when you get back from the cruise. Uh, what are you doing after? Are you flying home? Are you going to Disney? They also ask that. Then you are done with step four and we are almost finished. Step five, which is very important, the port arrival time. Uh, there will be times to choose from. You want to select a time that is good for you and your family. Uh, you are not permitted to arrive early. We are now done with step five and we can move on to our very last step, which is the cruise contract. Uh, they would like you to read it, go down to the bottom, click that you agree and sign the contract, and then you are officially done with step six. There is also optional forms. There is an EpiPen authorization form. There is also a special service form, which is related to anyone with a medical condition, dietary restrictions, or a physical disability, and an authorization for minors, who are traveling without a parent or guardian. Your online check-in is now complete. A very important, make sure that you print your port arrival form, or if you have an iPhone, add it to your mobile wallet because when you get to the port terminal, uh, you will need that form. You are now ready to go, so have a wonderful trip. And please check out my other videos. I have lots of other very informative information if you are taking a Disney cruise. Please like and subscribe.